Okay, so today we're going to learn some new words. Um, they're going to be all about school. So let's start. This is the sign for school. There's going to be another sign that looks very much the same. So pay close attention. School, work, play, science. So if you're pouring chemicals, science. Reading, we did that one last time. Writing, okay. Then we have spelling, just like finger spelling. Spelling, okay. Social studies is just a letter S and the letter S, social studies. But history is two H's going forward. Then we have math, that's using the letter M. Art, take your pinky, your hand out this way, and draw down your hand. That's the word for art. Music. Then we have friends, because we all have friends at school. So friend, okay? And if I have many friends, I can do friends, or I can do friends and add an S. The next one is student. When you're learning, you're taking information from the book to your brain. So student, and these lines on the side mean that's a person. Teacher is taking all the information from her brain and giving it to you. So the teacher is next. Then we have library. That's the same word we learned last time, and book. And if we have multiple books, again, we're gonna do multiple books, okay? Now remember the sign for school, the sign for paper is this, paper. Looks very much the same, but the hand direction is different. Paper. Then we have the telephone. We're all referring to our phones now and that nowadays. Okay. Mail, as if we're putting a stamp on a letter. And then we have email. It's coming through the computer. Okay, now people in your family. Your mother. Okay. Starting with your chin down to your chest. Mother. And then we have father. Now brother, okay? So we have brother, he has a ball cap on, brother. Sister has a bonnet on, a little old fashioned. Sister, okay? Now remember the word for help from last time. We have help. You wanna help me, I wanna help you. Now we have question. I have a question for you. You just draw a question mark. The next one is answer. We're gonna answer. So both hands are going forward for answer. Then test. Since we're all back in school, tests are coming up. Test. Test. Okay. Computer. Then we have research. For all you guys in high school or even those of you who are at home are learning to research, you're gonna research research and finally the last word for today is internet internet that concludes for today we will do this again in November here are some additional resources you can use to learn more American Sign Language and practice what you've seen today first under the what's hot tab in the library catalog you can find an American Sign Language book list to see the physical resources available from Pflugerville Library. Included is the video series Signing Time, geared more towards kids, but these are excellent programs and all ages will learn ASL from them. It even has some jaunty tunes to help learn different signs. The library also has the Baby Signing Time video series, which are not included on the book list, as they are geared towards pre-linguistic children, but are also great. You may be familiar with Hoopla Digital for eBooks and movies. This resource has several sign language eBooks and diverse video resources available for immediate checkout. Sports fans will find a series that teaches the signs about a wide range of different sports, even the Olympics, as well as some on more general topics. If you would like to learn more about deaf culture, we recommend looking at the National Association for the Deaf website for information on a wide range of topics, resource lists, and FAQs. Joan recommended the website SigningSavvy.com, which allows for visitor or registered guest access. 
There is a sign of the day, articles, and other content. The site has a searchable dictionary, but requires a paid membership to view some answers. She also recommends Lingvano.com. Similar to other language apps, this has a video lesson and quiz set up. The first lessons are free, but additional content, such as the dictionary, does require a paid subscription. The SignLanguageForum.com website has a fun fingerspelling practice quiz that you can use to test your knowledge. A fingerspelling word printer that can show you how your name is spelled. There are video chat rooms for the purpose of practicing and chatting using sign language. And the website also offers a fingerspelling word search creator that was used to make the word search you received with this workshop. If you are looking for how to sign a specific word, try handspeak.com which has free access to their dictionary and also offers cultural resources such as videos of poetry being performed and articles on important moments in the history of ASL use. The last resource listed turns out to be fairly close to Pflugerville. Located in Austin, signlanguage101.com has about 10 additional video lessons available for free. Thank you for joining our virtual American Sign Language workshop. We hope you find the time to watch this video over again, practice with family and friends, and use these extra resources to continue to learn this vibrant language.